today's program on handmade soap making workshop and now i would like to request dr archana ma'am our chairperson to deliver the welcome address over to you ma'am uh, thank you so much anita madam and welcome once again to all our wonderful participants on this beautiful so oh, okay okay so yeah good morning everybody yeah so basically this beyond medicine series is a series of workshops which we have started fortnightly uh, as a part of you know teaching something new to our members as you all are aware uh, this is open to im members msn jdn members and also their family members and it is like uh, uh, some amount of reprieve from our routine daily work from our routine uh, scientific work that we keep on doing or working in the wards and seeing patients and bringing home uh, some depression and distress in this covid era so this is to bring us out of uh, all the depression distress despair and take us towards some new uh, probably hobby ideas that we can develop and uh, we can divert our mind and our attention somewhere else so uh, we had two workshops in the same series before the first was photography workshop the second was uh, uh, you know organic terrace gardening uh, uh, this was uh, there uh, 15 days back and in the same series we have our third workshop which is today uh, that is the handmade uh, soap making workshop which is going to be conducted by ms sunita bhasin uh, from delhi and she is going to take us through the various nitty gritties uh, of uh, the soap making process at home and she is going to really demonstrate us is it is not as uh, difficult maybe as it sounds because this is what we have learned in chemistry in our student days but we never really bothered to uh, you know uh, do it in our actual life so let us uh, go through the process again and see if it is uh, easy to make it at home and i have got a feedback that many of you are making uh, you know organic chemical free soaps at home so probably then this will come as a revision to many before we invite our today's speaker i'd like to make two announcements uh, our next workshop in this same series is uh, 15 days from now but on a saturday uh, that is on 25th of september and it is best out of waste make best out of the waste so whatever throw away things probably you are thinking of throwing away in the next 15 days don't throw them away because we are going to get you trainers who are going to tell you how to go about making new beautiful things out of the things that you probably consider they are waste and they are to be thrown away so things like tin planters making envelopes uh, making carry bags uh, uh, making wall hangings you know so uh, there are many things that our trainer is going to teach you next second is about ims sargam uh, i really do not know how many of you are aware but i really hope that every one of you is aware that indian medical association headquarter cultural committee has launched I am is Sargam, which is All India Singing Competition. The auditions for this All India Singing Competition are already in progress. It has started on first of September. The last day for submission of entries for this All India Singing Competition, that is I am is Sargam, is fifteenth of September. And so, anybody who wishes, who has not yet got the idea of what is I am is Sargam, or wants to know more about it, we are holding a Zoom meeting tonight, which is an open forum. open forum as in it is open to all ima members uh, all msn members all jdn members where we will be explaining all the details about ima sargam the all india singing competition and i will be putting out the flyer in some time in the chat box so whoever wishes to join please do join uh, the meeting tonight at 9:30 on the zoom platform with this once again a warm welcome to everybody and without taking much time i hand over to dr anita for further proceedings thank you ma'am now i request dr rohini badwe ma'am to introduce the speaker over to you ma'am yeah just one minute badwe madam i'll make you a
Madam, with what name have you logged in? Dr. Rohini, is that you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you are co host, madam. You can unmute yourself. I respected Anita, madam, convener of the Central uh, Cultural Committee. Uh, Dr. Archana Pate, ma'am, chairperson of the Central Cultural Committee. Today's trainer, Sunita Basin, ma'am, and all the participants. A very good morning to all of you and a big hello from the Cultural Committee. In the COVID era, the first thing which was taught to us was hand washing with soap and water. So what could be more appropriate than making soap at home? So I really would like to congratulate uh, the two madams and the person who got this idea of homemade soap. So today we have for this uh, uh, program, we have our trainer, Sunita Basin. Uh, she was born and brought up in the capital of India, that is Delhi. She has done a double graduation. So she is double MA, Master of Arts. She is based in Delhi and she runs her CSDO classes. She provides training to various topics like soap making, candle making, chocolate making, ice cream making, and even spice making. She's into this profession for last more than 34 years. She loves reading spiritual books and cooking delicious food. She's a constant learner and always tries to learn new and new things. She believes everything happens for a reason and the reason is always an excellent plan designed by God. So may I present to you Sunita Basin for an excellent workshop of soap making. Thank you. Madam, would you please unmute yourself? Sunita, madam. Uh, is it okay now? Yes, madam. You are audible. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Archana, for giving me an opportunity to teach this beautiful subject to all the doctors. Really, it is a, it's a very, very good pleasure for me. And thank you very much, Dr. Mohan Rohini, uh, for the excellent uh, introduction. So I don't think so to that I should give any introduction from my side. So let us start our workshop because we have very limited time and I want to teach you the best. The latest yes, madam, please. Bye. Sure, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Bye-bye. So friends, today we are here to teach or to learn the best subject that is our soap making. And today I have chosen two kinds of soaps Number one is turmeric. As a doctor, everyone you know, turmeric is an antiseptic. So I'm going to teach you number one, aloe vera and honey soap. And second is mine, that is saffron and turmeric soap. It's a very easy, very easy to make once you understand the right technique. So now what is the right technique? Before I start about the right technique, let me tell you about the raw material. So we need some raw material. First is our, this is our soap base. Now this is the company name which I'm using. This is Lemon Company, easily available. E the people are having e-commerce website. You can check the website or you can get it from Amazon. This is our main ingredient to make soap, number one. Number two, I'm going to teach you how to make turmeric and saffron. Now to make turmeric soap, we need first of all turmeric. Now this is our regular turmeric. Second thing is saffron. This is saffron. Everyone knows the properties of saffron. I'm going to use real saffron, no saffron extract, no saffron perfume, real saffron. Now for the second soap, that is my aloe vera. Now this is aloe vera. This aloe vera, you need to take 
and then cut the sides from the aloe vera and take the center part of the aloe vera. It's a very simple. Everyone knows about the aloe vera and take out the center part also from this side and inside you get pulp. Inside we get pulp. Now this is the same pulp which is lying in my pittori. I am going to grind it in mixi. Very simple. And honey. Now this is for aloe vera and honey. Actual honey and actual aloe vera. And this is for turmeric and saffron. It's clear to everyone. So very simple things we need. Number one, soap base. Number two, for aloe vera and, and honey, I'm going to use aloe vera and honey. Is it clear to everyone? For turmeric and saffron, two ingredients are there. For aloe vera and honey, I'm having two ingredients. It's clear. Very simple thing. And what I need, I'm going to use IPA. This is rubbing alcohol. Not compulsory, but yes, it helps a lot about the finishing part. This is IPA, friends, not compulsory in case if you don't have, no need to buy. But if you want to get the good finishing to your soap, then you need IPA, isopropyl alcohol, or you can say rubbing alcohol. That's clear. And if you want to put some, you know, fragrance in your soap, you can choose like, this is my aloe vera. The sticker is a little bit old, but this is my aloe vera fragrance. And second, because the soap name is Haldi, this is my Haldi and Chandan. It's clear to everyone, very simple, very few ingredients we need. Everyone is having turmeric, saffron, milk, honey and aloe vera in your kitchen, I'm sure. Okay, now, first of all, what you need to do, take this, this is known as a pouring jug. In case if you don't have pouring jug, no need to worry because we take professional classes, so we have all the professional equipment, but no problem. You can use any glass bowl or you can take plastic microwave savvy bowl, whatever bowl you have in your kitchen, but that should be microwave savvy. It's clear, but I'm going to use this because I feel comfortable with this pouring jug. And now, this is my soap base. We have andaja bhaji means rough idea how much we need, but in case, okay, now let me tell you how you will calculate because first time when you're going to make, we are having bowls, uh, sorry, molds. Now, this is my mold. Now, the final outcome of this mold, of course, that would be rectangular. Is it clear? And the ideal way of this soap is approximately 100 gram. So if you want to make one soap, you need to take 100 gram. Two soaps, 200 gram. Six soaps, 600 gram. So this is a simple way. What we do, we use wing scale. We use wing scale. What I'm going to do, I want to make two soaps. So this is my container. Let me use wing scale. So accuracy comes. Accuracy comes in case if you don't have no worry, you can make with the, you know, andaja say ki, yes, I need to take this quantity of soap base. Now, friends, this is a hundred gram. I want to make two soaps. So I took 200 gram. Okay. I took 200 gram. And what you need to do, you put into microwave oven just only for 30 seconds. Now, let me show you. These are in flakes forms. Can you see, friends? This is in flakes form. Now I'm going to put it in microwave just only for 30 seconds. That's it. Just friends, only for 3 0 30 seconds. It's clear. Uh, uh, am I able to make you understand, friends? Any doubt? Is my speed okay? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ma will you? Will you, share, uh, will you share the ingredients, everything on chat later on? Yeah, definite, definite. Or what I will do, I will make one PDF. I think so that PDF is uploaded in our app, CSDO app. Recently, I took work workshop on Facebook. And if I'm not mistaken, all the ingredients and matters, that is in the PDF form, but that's in our app, CSDO app. Either you people can download the app or 
I will make complete notes and I will pass to Dr. Archana. That is the best way. But in case, friends, if you want to write it down, I don't mind. You can write it down. First of all, we need so base, number one. Number one, we need so base. You just write it down if you people are comfortable. But in the meantime, come back to practical. I kept in the microwave just only for 30 seconds. Now, after 30 seconds, what happened? It has become a little bit gooey. Now, it is not in the flakes form. It is a little bit gooey. I'm not, I will not say this is 100% gooey. But now I, I show you. Now see friends, can you see? It's not flake. Flake means that's a total chura kind of, but now I can make small laddu out of this. So this is the second stage. What you need to do, again put into microwave for next 30 seconds. And in the meantime, friends, what I'm doing, this is half teaspoon of milk. What I did, I took friends, just only let me show you, only half teaspoon of milk, okay? I'm going to put into microwave or you can take warm milk also because my milk is totally chilled. So I kept into microwave just only for 15 seconds or you can boil the gas also. Now 15 seconds has passed, fantastic. This is okay. Now, 15 seconds has passed. What I'm going to do now, let me take saffron. Let me take saffron and I'm going to add just only few strands of saffron. You can see there is approximately six to seven strands of saffron. Very simple. You need to take warm milk to soak the saffron. Now, Immediately, they will start leaving that color. Now you can see this is in now. The color has started coming. It's clear. Please take only warm milk. Don't take chilled milk. Now 30 seconds plus 30 seconds. Now one minute has passed. Let me see it again. Now see friends, can you see? It's a totally gooey. Second stage, it's a totally gooey kind of. Okay. Again, next 30 seconds. Don't keep it in microwave, just direct two minutes. No, you have to take it out after 30 seconds. Now, this is a third time, 30 seconds only. Okay, this is my mold. This is my mold. Okay, what I will do, uh, just to yeah. we are going to grind it in mixy friends. What we are going to do, we are going to grind it and mix it, okay? And honey is there. Now, it seems like milk is inside. It's not milk, friend, take care. This is so base. What is this? This is so base. It's clear to everyone. Completely now, this one is melted. Completely. I can't see a single, single flake inside of this. It's clear to everyone. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So after two minutes, friends, you are going to see this way. Complete, you can say it's a milk, complete milk. Now, what you have to do, understand this thing. If you are taking 100 grams, Friends, if you are taking 100 gram, you need to take only 2% of honey. So I took 200 gram. I'm going to add 4 grams of honey. Very simple. How much I'm going to take? 4 gram of honey. It's a very thick, so I open the cap just to save my time. Now, four grams, friends, only four grams. Number one, put into the melted soap base. And second thing, I'm going to use aloe vera. Now, this is aloe vera. 
I feel comfortable with this small green color that gives a very nice appearance. So what I'm going to do, let me add aloe vera pieces also, like the side part of the green color. Now this too is approximately 5%. 5% means I added 10 grams of aloe vera. 5% because friends, I took 200 grams. So I added 5 grams. Now friends, can you see? After adding honey, the beautiful color has come. See friends, this is a beautiful color. I did not add any color. Did I add any color? No, not at all. So that was a natural honey color. Now, what you need to do, you just take this mold using either glass rod, either glass rod, but in case if you don't have glass rod, no worries, you can take toothpick also easily available toothpick. Now, very important thing, what you need to do on the top, you can see it's a kind of malai, the same malai which you get on the milk, we get the same malai there. So what you need to do, you have to pull back that malai. Malai means that is a skin on the surface of the uh, melted base. Okay, that skin, you have to pull it back. So this skin, it should not come on a, another mold. Is it clear? So what I'm going to do, friends, let me pour it here. And now I pour it here, number one. And second thing, friends, if you want to make, if you want to make fragrance one also, now there are some people who do not want flavors also. So first soap, I taught you without any flavors, but if you want to make it nice fragrance one, now 2%, so I added only 2% because now 100 gram already I have poured into the mold, okay? Now it has become little bit thick, little bit, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the microwave just only for 10 seconds because this soap base, it has become thickened. So what I did, I put into the microwave just only for quick 10 seconds. So it should be in the melted form. Now I show you friends, again, it's a totally, totally melted form. Okay, now fragrance is there. What is the difference between Soap number one and soap number two. If you do not want to add any fragrance, leave that. If you want to have a very nice fragrance in your soap, then my second recipe, I taught you how to put fragrance also. Quantity of fragrance is 2%. So if you are making 100 gram, you need to add 2 ml. If you are making 200 ml, 4 ml. Very simple. Okay. Now, again, taking care of the skin. Skin should not come on the, uh, on the soap, okay? And now, again, beautiful soap, okay. What type of honey you are using, ma'am? Uh, if you have any question, just give me only one minute time because my 100% uh -huh. Yes, please. I request everyone to please put your questions in the chat box and we'll request madam to take it towards the end. Please put your questions in the chat box. Ma'am, is that okay? We'll take yeah, questions towards very, the end. Very much okay. Very much okay. Thank yeah. you. And now, next soap. And now, next soap. I'm going to teach you now next soap. That is mine. Turmeric and saffron. Turmeric and saffron now to make turmeric and saffron what i'm going to do friends here i took white color soap base base can definite friends i know i have to keep this soap in freeze so for next 10 to 15 minutes on that time i'm ready to answer your queries because this time if i start you know answering your question so we won't be able to finish our webinar on time and I want to show you the final product also. So just give me only five minutes time and I would love to answer your questions, okay? And now friends, next thing, what I'm going to tell you, that is my different kind of the soap base. Now here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take transparent soap base. Now what is the different, which brand? Our friends already have told you this is lemon brand. I will show you the website, either you can get it from Amazon or you can, this is an e-commerce website, you can buy it from there. Is it here in the main brand? And now next, what I'm going to do, 
what i'm going to do if you use steel spoon in place of yeah definitely friends you are asking very good question i would love to answer but let me finish my this you know practical session and we will go for questionnaire okay now next thing how to store them definitely madam don't madam don't worry i am writing down all the questions i'll ask you towards the end okay so i'm not going to answer now okay now next thing friends basically there are two kinds of base one is our transparent transparent is like pure kind of the base and second is our opaque one which i used earlier that is you can say dove kind of the base appearance i'm talking about i'm not telling that this is the pure and that is a dove no just to make you understand i am telling this is the appearance of this base this ready soap would be like pears and that would be like a dove okay or you can say lux also now again friends what i am going to do let me take okay let me use weighing scale just that will make your understanding properly again i took this from the zero and again i am going to take 200 g of soap base because i am making two so i am taking 200 grams if you are making only one so you can take 100 gram or 110 gram it depends upon the amount okay now okay number one it's done second step what should i do any idea what should i do i am asking from you now friends 30 seconds microwave oh that's lovely super for for 30 seconds 30 seconds fantastic so that means people are able to understand lovely i appreciate okay and now friends can you see the mm. sun has given beautiful color can you see from here and now what you need to do i am going to take same milk same milk we are not going to waste this milk what i will do i am going to take turmeric now this is my turmeric for two soaps friends we need to use only only 0.5% so 0.5 means in 200 g i took this is approximately 1 g only is it clear now this is the haldi or turmeric you can say now friends this is a milk what you need to do you just you know take this milk you can use sieve also friends you can use sieve also now same milk which milk where i soak the saffron now can you see now saffron is lying here but i wanted to use this milk and now from the back of my you know toothpick i'm not going to change the toothpick also so now see can you see friends beautiful how did i dissolve my turmeric using the same milk where i uh, uh, soak the saffron okay Thirty seconds has passed, and I'm using fresh. Uh, you know this one. Don't use the same rod or spoon, okay, which you have used for uh, white soap. So you need to either clean it or you can use the you know lower part, or it's better you take the fresh one. Now again, friends, I told you gooey stays. Do you remember? First is the flake. and second is the gooey stays again let me show you friends what is the meaning of gooey stays well can you see gooey stays it's not flakes gooey means again friends you can make laddu kind of it's not possible to make laddu out of your flakes so laddu will happen once you put into the microwave for 30 seconds it's clear but still it is not liquid so what i'm going to do again i'm putting to microwave for next 30 seconds okay 30 seconds and now here i am going to use and having haldi ka perfume not choice is yours if you do not want to put any fragrance what you can do remove this but i am going to make both of my soaps with the haldi ka perfume let me do the recap that's a 2% means i took 200 g i'll be taking this 4 ml is it clear 2% i took 200 g so i'll be taking Two ml, very simple. Now again, let me take it out. Now, friends, ninety percent it is melted. Approximately ninety percent, friends, it is melted. But I can see this is not hundred percent. So what I'm going to do again? Let me put into microwave 
but just only 15 seconds are more than enough. Okay. Uh, Fantastic friends. Now this is done. You can see some smoke is coming. So that shows that really it is a now 100%. Friends, can you see? If I say that milk, is, sorry, water is inside, so you people will believe. It seems like water and that seems like milk. Okay, that's the basically different. Now, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, let me add turmeric. What is this? This is turmeric soaked into saffron milk. Turmeric soaked into saffron milk. Very simple. Moment you add turmeric, well friends, can you see beautiful color? Beautiful color has come. What I use, I use only milk, saffron milk you can say, saffron milk, is it clear? Okay, now what I'm going to do, let me add fragrance. That is, I'm going to add 2% and that would be 4 ml. One cap is equal to 5 ml. In case if you don't have weighing scale, no need to worry. One cap is equal to 5 ml. I'm not going to take 100%. I took friends just only this. I know this is a 4 ml. I added 4 ml. Haldi means turmeric cup perfume, okay? And what I'm going to do, now let me take this and I'm going to take friends saffron. Now this is saffron. What I will do, I will place saffron cast stands in my mold. Is it clear? I'm going to place saffron cast stands in my mold. So when I take up this soap, I can see beautiful saffron stands on my soap. You can place three, you can place four, no worries. It depends upon you, okay? So I took approximately eight strands because I knew I'm going to make two soaps. You can use tweezer also, you know, tweezer plucker. Okay. Beautiful. So what I did friends, I place soap saffron in my mold. I don't know whether I'm able to show you or not, okay, with soaps. I used transparent soap base, company name was Lemon, and quantity was, that's a lemon brand, Dr. Dalita, okay? And now, what I'm going to do, what is inside, friends? Number one, transparent soap base. I microwaved it for two minutes, added, turmeric, which was soaked in saffron milk. After that, I did not add saffron into this because I wanted that saffron, it should be on the top of my soap. Is it clear? And now, what you need to do, friends, okay, let me show you when I was talking about skin. Can you see, this is the lower part, friends, and see this top. Now this top, can you see some frothiness is there? I am saying this is the skin. It's clear to everyone. Now, what I'm going to do, let me take now this. Uh, I'll show you, friends. Now, what is skin? Let me show you the skin also. So, you are understanding would be very, very good. Now, let me show you, friends. This is skin. Well, can you see? Yira skin. I don't want it that this should come in our soap. Is it clear? This is skin. You have to pull it back. It's clear to everyone you have to pull it back, very simple. Now, what I'm going to do, take this, put into mold, put into mold. Now here, important thing, what you need to take care, pour just friends only half teaspoon. 
and immediately you will have to pour rest of the now you may be thinking why i did this step why i pour just only half teaspoon and then immediately i pour 100% there is a reason let me tell you the reason behind that what is the reason reason is that friends in case immediately if you pour 100% if you pour 100% there are chances that saffron stand it may float inside and you won't be able to see on the top of the soap so what i did i placed the saffron number 1 i poured just only half teaspoon just friends only half teaspoon so they will stick at the bottom is it clear they will stick at the bottom and now keep it aside outside just only for 10 minutes only for 10 minutes after 10 minutes friends i will keep it in the fridge no need to keep it in the fridge but since we are in hurry so i am keeping in fridge just because i want that you people can see this soap also so is the reason i will be keeping in fridge otherwise if you are making in your kitchen no need to put into fridge it's clear to everyone from my side practical work is done give me only 5 minutes time i will put into freeze and after 10 minutes immediately i will take it out and i show you how to do the packaging of these soaps now you people are open you can put into the chat box your questions whatever questions you people have in your mind i am ready to answer your questions but if you have any question related with practical class first let me finish the practical let me do the recap also so i taught you friends two kinds of soaps one was number one aloe vera and honey to make aloe vera and honey uh, lemon brands okay friends give me just only 2 minutes time let me finish the practical then i can read your question from the chat box please can i request don't put any question on the chat box for next 2 minutes let me finish let me do the recap so that will give me confidence yes i gave my 100% just two minutes i am here to answer your questions okay so friends i taught you two soaps number one was the aloe vera and honey in aloe vera and honey i took opaque soap base that is the white one number one company name is lemon how much i took or how much you people are going to take it depends upon the mold okay number one it depends upon the mold number 2 it depends upon number of soaps like mine this mold is a 105 gram i wanted to make two soaps so according to that i took if you want to make soap which carries approximately 75 gram and you want to make four soaps so 75 multiplied by 4 is equal to your answer that is a 300 gram so that is a calculation i taught you step number 1 i took this soap base put into the microwave for 30 seconds four times so total you need to uh, put into the microwave just only for 2 minutes and now for aloe vera i took fresh aloe vera take out the pulp put into the mixer so when your soap is ready ready means when your soap is melted you need to put 5% is our aloe vera that is if you are taking only 100 g you need to add just only 5 grams of aloe vera number 1 number 2 honey was there 2% 2% means in 100 g you need to add only 2 g of honey fragrance it depends upon you you can make with fragrance or without fragrance without fragrance no need to add any fragrance you will get a very mild flavor of honey but in case if you want to put fragrance i use aloe vera and that is 2% in 100 g you need to add just only 2 ml okay mix all the things and you need to put into the mold very simple and on the top you need to use ipa what is the role of ipa ip remove all the bubbles from the top it is not compulsory now second soap i taught you how to make a uh, turmeric and saffron for that i used transparent soap base company name was again lemon i took according to my need put into the microwave for 2 minutes at the interval of 30 seconds take it out but in the meantime you need to take warm milk 
soak saffron into the milk for five to 10 minutes. After that, take it out, sieve it, take it out, and in the same milk, you are going to uh, make a paste using that turmeric, okay? Take it out from the microwave, put turmeric, and put turmeric, so you will get yellow color. If you want to put fragrance also, I used Haldi Cup perfume. Again, that is 2% because I took approximately 200 grams. So I used 4, 4 ml. One cap is equal to 5 ml. I took only 4 ml. Now for the saffron, because I was having liquid, liquid means gila ka moist ka. What I did, I put into the mold, but taking care, don't pour all the material. Material means liquid so base at once. Otherwise, there are chances saffron will float and it may enter into the soap. That, that also looks nice. But what was my concern? I wanted it that my saffron stand, it should show on the top of my soap. Is it clear? And on the top, again, I used IPA. Now, 10 minutes has passed. What I'm going to do, friends, I'm going to keep it in fridge. Okay, after 10 minutes, our soap would be ready. And then I'll teach you how to do the packaging. So from my side, again, I have repeated all the practical. Now I'm open for your question. Now you start, uh, you know, putting on the chat box, okay? Yeah, so Madam, questions have already come and I'll I'll just put them across to you, whatever has come. So one is what type of honey was used? I'm coming, I'm coming. Yes, please, Dr. Arshana, yes. What type of honey was used, ma'am? I use the regular double ka honey. If you have any honey, it may be eucalyptus ka honey or lychee ka honey, you can use that. You can use that, but I use dabar ka honey, regular honey, which we take every day in our salad and, you know, morning pani visa. Okay. So what does the base contain? Where is it available? I think you've already answered that. But what does the base contain is the question. What are the, what are the, the base? soap base? Yeah. So yes, I tell you, friends, you go to Amazon, number one, you will get it. But let me tell you about that. See, we teach soap base making classes also. What we have added into this soap base, number one, glycerin. Everyone, you know, glycerin is a wonderful hematite and it attracts moisturizer from the air. Sorbitol, that is a sugar. Sugar is added, that is wonderful. And and sorbitol, glycerin, propylene glycol, uh, and steric acid, that is a vegetable wax. So all these are the skin-friendly elements are there. None of the chemical is added into this. Okay, okay. So that's what I think this answers the third question. Can the soap be used for children because it is organic? So you can use, even though if you are Kids, they are four months old. You can use on their skin. We Great. have tested this. Great. So what was the setting for the microwave, madam? At what temperature have you put? I, I tell you, friends, in case, if you put directly for one minute, as you know, in the microwave, heat comes from the top. So when you are using double boiler, no need to put into the double boiler for 30 seconds because double boiler under there are no chances that your soap will burn. In 30 seconds, what happened on the top of this, this surface, you will get it has the color has been a little bit changed. So is the reason it is better to put just only for 30 seconds, stir it properly. Again, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. If you don't do this, what happens? Lower surface will not melt properly. No, ma'am, I think the question was that what heat setting for the microwave? What heat setting is to be used? Heat setting, see, every microwave, they have the different, different settings. Mine is a, my microwave is a LG. That is the lowest one. It is already predefined. That is the lowest one. So it is to be set on the low heat? It is low to be put heat, on a low heat? Low heat, 30 seconds. And now, friends, let me make it clear. As I said, you need to heat it just only for two minutes. It is not final thing if you are melting. Friends, if you are melting, say 700 grams. I, I melted just only 200. But in case if you are melting 700, it may take three minutes or sometime four minutes also. Great. Okay. So, ma'am, can we use steel spoon or wooden spatula instead of the glass rod? I, I tell you, beautiful question, million dollar question. Now, let me give you the practical answer why I use either this number one and second thing friends 
I use toothpick in front of you. Where is my toothpick? Okay. Uh, okay. Now, see, friends. And third object, you can see. Okay. Now, all the things are in front of you. Well, can you see the wastage part? Can you see the wastage part? Here it is first only a small. This, this one is small one. But here, this is approximately 7 gram. And here it's just only 2 to 3 things. Okay. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, yes, absolutely. And, and, and second thing. And second thing, friends, now see. Take knife. What you need to do? Take knife, okay? Now because this is glass, using the blunt side, not the sharp one. This is the blunt side. What you can do? What you can do? Someone is asking, can we use coconut or virgin oil? Let me answer your question that coconut oil is also added into the base. Okay, okay. so someone asked immediately, I read and I answered it. Okay, now friends, let me tell you, now this is glass rod, okay? Now, so easily, you can take out all the base. Now, well, can you see? It's friends less than one gram. Now, it's in front of you. Now, see this. It's just easily, I took it out. Now, is it possible to take it out from here? Can you see? Ladai ladi padegi iske saath. Can you see? Nikla thoda sa. See friends. See, I am struggling. I am struggling. Now, well, can you see? So is the reason. If you don't have glass rod, no need to worry. You can use toothpaste. Agar ye bhi nahi hai, no problem. Dr. Archana said that next time you are coming up with a very nice webinar how to use the waste material. So let me give you one tip. You can use broomstick also. So that is the best thing to use. Is that so you can use Nahiya. No need to buy this. Full jaru hutana, you need to take this. Is great, great. Okay. So how to store this soap, madam, and what is the shelf life? Okay, how to store, friends, you need to wrap it in cling film, number one. I will show you, just give me only five minutes time. Sure. You see, great. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you made my day with this compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. I love teaching. Frankly speaking, I love teaching. And you can see my passion whenever I have to teach. Then to really, jo nikalta bata dete hai. we don't see con learner, but bol dete hai. Thank you. Uh, okay, now I'll teach you. Aap ko kya karne? You need to wrap it in cling film, number one. Number two, shelf life. Ek saal, do saal, teen saal, char saal, paan saal. Che saal. Okay, okay, great. Okay. <laughs> Great, super. Okay, so I think you have already answered the next question. Can we use glycerin for winter? You have already said that the soap base contains glycerin. Yes, it contains glycerin. So please, please don't add extra glycerin. If you add extra glycerin, like give, give me one example. You get shy paneer from the market and that is an excellent shy paneer. This is a, that's your best vendor. Again, you put lots of namak and masala. What is the use of that? Absolutely. But to spoil that, friends. So this is yes. the best recipe which I'm sharing with you. If you add more glycerin, I tell you, friends, you will get sweating on your soap. So yes, yes. Absolutely. Uh, this also you've answered which company base should be used, but uh, some users are saying it's not available on Amazon. So it can you just a, ask any I other commerce share, site? Dr. Archana, I will share. You can write it down, website address. Right now I put, uh, I'm, I'm going to send a message. Sure. That's e-commerce website. You can get it from there. Okay, G great. What fragrance? It's not, material. It's not only this. You will get even though perfumes and glass rod, everything, IPA, you will get under one. That's the e-commerce website. Great. So what fragrance can be used? You have said you have used the turmeric uh, fragrance. So any other fragrance can be used. And again, it will be available where? There are more than hundreds of fragrances, friends. So it's your wish. Why did I use a healthy one? Because my soap name was turmeric and saffron. So yes. I, you know, it's just like that. I say to you, friends, I'm going to teach you turmeric and uh, saffron, but I'm using rose perfume. So that does not make any sense. So Absolutely. <laughs> Great. So can we use, uh, instead of microwave, can something else be used? Yes. Now, let me teach you practically. I have kept induction here. I know this answer question will come. 
ah your teacher is smart okay <laughs> <laughs> now friends if you are using if you don't have microwave or if you don't want to use microwave no problem this is induction you can use you can use gas also suppose either this is gas or induction you need to take two container this is smaller one and this is bigger one in smaller one what you are going to add you are going to add water now this is a simple koi bhi pani le lo aao ki zarurat nahi hai tap water take tap water keep it on the either induction or gas ab ye second button lenge and put 200 gram base on this and then cover it okay and keep it here so within a 5 to 7 minutes your soap will melt 100% No need to check it after thirty seconds. Thirty second, no, not at all. Is it great? Clear? Great, absolutely. To melt your soap either on induction or on gas, but please, please don't put it directly. Within a minute, your soap will burn. Take care. You need to use only double boiler. You can use any container, any container. Okay. So one question is why can't it directly be put in the microwave for two minutes? Why it has to be thirty thirty seconds interval? Already, Doctor Rajna, I told you if you put directly, there are chances your soap will burn. Burn, absolutely, absolutely. This also you have answered. What was sprayed on top after pouring the soap in the mold? She's already answered IPA, isopropyl alcohol. That was. What yes. is the function of IPA? It removes bubbles from the top. When you put so, once your friends start doing practical, then you will see bubbles are coming. So when you put IPA, that reduces the bubbles. Great. So uh, where do we get soap mold? I think it would be the same e-commerce website, ma'am. Yeah, same mold. Yes. Okay. So I think uh, this is a very obvious question. How many hundred gram soap bars can be made from one base? It depends on the uh, packaging of the base. So. The packaging is one kg, maybe ten uh, soaps. So absolutely, absolutely. We are Now, having start, starting from fifteen gram to one kg mold. Great. So it depends. You are base divided by the weight of your mold. Very absolutely, simple. absolutely. One thousand divided by hundred is equal to ten. Very simple. Yeah. So the basic thing is what what a gram does your mold contain? How many grams does your mold contain? If your mold is fifty grams. Yes, yes. Yes. So yes. that will be twenty soaps. Okay, fine. So, ma'am, uh, uh, one question is: Which turmeric was used? Was it our regular turmeric which we use at home? I use regular, or you can buy amba haldi also. That's easily available. Okay. In local grocery store, you can get amba haldi. Amba haldi. Okay. Is, it's a very good for skin. Okay. How much time does it take for one, uh, the soap bars to set? If we don't refrigerate it, otherwise, if we keep it outside. You can keep it outside. Opaque takes lesser time as compared to the transparent. But you can say within a half an hour, you will be able to take out your soap. Just Great. within a half an hour. And oh. immediately, friends, immediately you can use it. Immediately, you make it and you can have your bath. Superb. And ma'am, one of out of the syllabus question: How to make coffee, coffee soap? <laughs> so, Doctor Archana, next time definitely. Yes. Coffee soap also. Great. Uh, okay, I come here today, Doctor. I am so much happy. And friends, tell you, I do not know how you know me and Doctor Archana made connection. I got the message from Doctor Archana. <laughs> I said, Doctor Archana, really, I want to help doctors during the COVID time. Doctors really they help a lot. And this is my gratitude to all the doctors, not only those doctors who are attending this webinar, but to all the doctors. Who really offer their services? So this is a just kind of gratitude workshop. Thank you so much, madam. Thank yeah. you so much on behalf of the entire medical fraternity. Uh, even this, these sounds, you know, the words of these kind, I think they make every doctor's day. So thank you so much. Yes. 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 So next time, Doctor Archana, you know what I will do? Uh, if you give me permission, choice is in your hands. Absolutely. We will teach you. We will teach you coffee soap with the Dalgona coffee. Ma'am, you have got so much to teach. You have got so much more to teach. So we would love to have you back on our, uh, you know, workshop ah, once more. Dalgona coffee is wonderful coffee. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely ma'am. Yes. 
So with that Dalgona coffee. Okay? Great, great. <laughs> I think that's that's in vogue. The Dalgona coffee is in vogue. You know, everybody talks about that. Okay, so ma'am, somebody wants to again once more see how aloe vera is scraped. So can you just demonstrate that how aloe vera is scraped? Okay, very simple. Just a moment. Uh, okay. Let me bring one new, you know, aloe vera. Yes, okay. yes, yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Uh, she is bringing. We have yeah. plants. Everybody is having plants of aloe vera. So let me bring that and I'll show you. Okay. Yes. So, um, Madam teaches candle making. Uh, that is one of the topics which she teaches wonderfully because that is in question. And yes, we will request her to take one for us. Okay. And next is Madam IP and rubbing alcohol same? Yes, it is the same. And someone was asking about the brand also, friends. Again, I'm going to share. I'm going to share uh, this uh, website address with you. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, okay, madam, the compliments are pouring in for you, so that you need to read it. All the compliments are pouring in for you. Uh, the scraping you are showing, IPA brand, you have already shown double boiler method. You have already shown, right? So I think uh, that that answers all the questions uh, which we have had. Can we use old perfume what we have at home? If that is related with soap, go ahead. If it is related with your body, don't use. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I think that takes care of all the questions. And uh, yes, today's recording, I will be sharing to all those who have registered with us. Uh, anybody out of you all who has not registered for the workshop and has still joined the workshop today, please put your mail ID in the chat box. Okay. We'll be sharing uh, the recording of today's program. Yes, here Madam shows, demonstrates how to scrape the aloe vera. Very simple. First, you need to peel it from sides. Very simple. First, cut it from the side well. Can you see this part? Absolutely. And now, second side. Very simple and easily. It's so easy. It's just like you are peeling cucumber. Now, can you see from both sides? And now, come to the center part. Okay. Now, come to the center part. Pure gel. And every day, friends, I tell you, you can apply on your lips, you can apply under the eye, you know, this one eyeball also, you can apply on your hairs also. This is the excellent gift from nature. Excellent gift. Okay. And now, using spoon, um, using spoon, you need to use spoon. This is a very bada bala. Very, okay. Now, friends, is it clear? Can you see? And now, you need to take it out. See, you need to take, let me take because that is a very big. You can use even though this was the part, friends, which I used. Now, see, it's just so, you know, slippery. Well, friends, can you see? This was the part which I used. Well, can you see? Now, let me take out more. Now, this was the part which I used. Again, I can see lots of, lots of, you know, now, so this is so slippery. Is it clear? And if you want to remove this, you can remove. Is it clear now? And you need to grind it into mixing. Very simple. Now, this you just put into the dustbin. Okay. And now, friends, I'm going to take out my soaps from the fridge and I want to show you, okay, and how to pack for packing. We have, you know, cling wrap machine. Well, I would love to show you. This is our cling wrap machine, okay? This is cling wrap. Normally, we wrap our sandwiches, you know, in this. And this machine, machine, this is known as a cling film dispenser. There is a cutter. What you need to do, friends, you just take it out. See, take it out. I say, there is cutter. Now, this part, can you see small? This is cutter. You just run the cutter twice. Very simple, okay? 
Now it's a cut. Now, if I show you, now can you see, friends? It's a now. Okay, then you need to take, you need to take a uh, scissor. Okay, can I scissor do? Can I have the scissor, please? Okay, let me take it out in front of you. Very simple, friends. Is it clear? Absolutely. And what I'm going to do, let me cut this cling wrap into two pieces. So I can wrap two soaps. I can wrap two soaps. Now, is it clear? I cut into two pieces. This was the hole, but I cut into two pieces. Hmm. Keep it here and this is stretchable film. This is stretchable. Now, can you see? How can I stretch? See. Try to stretch it. Is it clear? Try to stretch it. Kiran. I show you my sticker also, which you can put on the top of your soaps. We are heavy, and I'm running Dr. Archnaik yet. I have not told you. I'm running my unit also where we do contract manufacturing for the soaps for the very good companies. Cost it depends upon you from where. Are you getting from Santa Cruz or Lokandwala, Matunga or Dada? It depends from where you are getting yourself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Matunga prices would be less, Lokandwala prices would be high. <laughs> okay, now I am crazy to show you saffron one. Can you see, friends? That yes. was a, for a little bit. Now, can you see saffron strands? Yes. Did I add any color, synthetic color? No. Only turmeric gave this beautiful color and honey gave this color. Beautiful. Now here my clients, they can see, wow, saffron is there. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Now again, I'm going to wrap it and how to in case, I know you people are doctor, you are not going to enter into this industry. Uh, but yes, in case if you want to give to someone, if you want to give to someone, that should be 100% presentable, isn't it? Nobody Absolutely. should say, no, not at all. So what I want, let me show you, even though you can put sticker also, Yes, they'll make for wonderful Diwali gifts. So wonderful, wonderful Diwali, wonderful. Now, see again, friends. Let me do the recap. Now, see, this is the this. Take it out. This is cutter. Run it twice. One, two. Very simple. Cut it from the center. Cut it from the center. Now, let me take out second one. This is very thin, friends. Now, can you see? They need to stretch it. Now, see. It should go downside. Now, see here. It should go downside. As it. Top should be top and all the side should be clear. Bottom to open, we put sticker. And at bottom, we put sticker. I'll show you how to put the stickers also. I'm having stickers here. That's my brand name sticker, but no worries. Yeah, good. Um, very fast. Okay, friends, this is my good luck that I got aloe vera sticker. Oh, they do. They do. I got aloe vera cast sticker. This is my good luck. Okay, let me show you. Hmm. 
This is my brand name, Lepa. This is a gumming sheet. It's not ordinary paper, friends. It's a gumming sheet. So what you need to do, you need to take it out. It will take just few seconds to peel it off. Gumming sheet is there. No need to use fevicol, etc. And we have, these are the different, different flavors now. Can you see? We do maximum contract manufacturing. See all these kind of flavors now. Can you see? Now see friends, the answer they kega. This is gumming sheet. Well, can you see? Yes. Now gum is there. Now you can see I can hold it now. Can you see? I can hold it. So what it shows that gumming is there. Okay. Now aloe vera and and honey. Okay. Let me put it here. Aloe vera and honey. Friends, who will say that this soap is made within a half an hour in a workshop? Fantastic. Seems like you have bought it from, uh, you know, from any good showroom. Yes. Maybe you can say. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. And these gumming sheets for anybody who wants to, uh, you know, think of gifting it at Diwali, uh, we all are used to giving our stationary orders, you know, the printing orders. So any of those printing people can make it for you if you give them some design. So yes. they make for beautiful options for gifting at Diwali. And Madam, uh, people are asking if your soaps can be bought online. So if you could just give them something in the chat box where they can order your soaps. Uh, we do basically contract manufacturing, but yes, we have some soaps. We are having website. I will let you know my website. That's a beautiful website, not related to classes, but related with my commercial products. You can join her on her Facebook page. She has got a Facebook page with the name of CSDO Hobby Classes. So you can join CSDO her. Classes. Dr. Achana, only CSDO Classes. Yeah, CSDO Classes. So you all can join her there and uh, you can update yourself about her workshops. And she conducts many, many workshops and you can join on the other workshops which she conducts regularly online. So uh, please uh, uh, do join the Facebook page. And I will appreciate if you could put your feedback or review on our Facebook page. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'll be I'll be mailing, uh, you know, the recording of today's program. And also I'll be putting a Google feedback form. And we would appreciate, uh, you know, your uh, feedbacks on the Google form, uh, which we would like to send it across to uh, Basin, madam. So please do send your feedbacks. I but madam, you are you are highly popular. I mean, uh, people are already falling in love with you. So you're highly popular already. Thank you very much. Really, I appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. I okay. request you, Dr. Archana, to please uh, post all the previous recordings also. Thank you so uh, much. Madam, uh, the previous one were paid workshops and all those who had registered uh, for that paid workshop, that was the Green Harvest workshop, uh, the recording has already been mailed to the people who had registered for it. Oh, well, oh. it has come from IMA HQ Cultural Committee. Okay. And uh, the photography workshop is already available on our Facebook group. Uh, IMA Headquarter Cultural Committee has got a Facebook group by the name of IMA's Vibrant Doctors. So all IMA members are welcome to join us and we keep on updating people about our activities on uh, the Facebook group. So please do join our Facebook group and you will find the photography workshop recording there. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, Madam, that, that I think uh, brings us to an end of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful workshop. And I think people have enjoyed it to the core. And uh, I'm going to take a minute. Ma'am? Yeah? Yes? Can we get your number? Yeah, Madam, Sunita, Madam, can you please put out your phone number? Yes, this question is for you. 
नाइन एट डबल वन टू सेवन टू वन थ्री एट मैम आई हैव वन जस्ट वन क्वेरी आईपीए वेयर इज इट अवेलेबल इन द मेडिकल स्टोर और वेयर आई मीन इट्स अवेलेबल नाउ द दिस डे आईपीए इज वेरी मच पॉपुलर यू विल गेट इट फ्रॉम इवन द कैमिस शॉप फ्रॉम अमेजॉन एंड फ्रॉम द लिंक व्हिच आई विल शेयर एवरीवेयर नाउ दिस डे इट इज अवेलेबल बिकॉज़ आई टेल यू व्हाट इज द रीजन दिस इज द मेन की इंग्रेडिएंट टू मेक हैंड सैनिटाइजर Okay. It's a beautiful hand sanitizer also. Ma'am, can you repeat your number? Nine eight double one two seven two one three eight. And see you very soon in our next webinar. So now it depends upon Doctor Archana. Yes, absolutely. And anybody who still can't get in touch with her, feel free to contact me, and I'll help you get in touch with her. Excellent session, uh, session ma'am. Thank you so much. You Thank made us. Have a blessed day. Bye bye. Yes, ma'am. Please wait. Please wait. Yeah, just a second. Yes. So, uh, is this visible to all? The screen is visible to all. Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes. Yeah. The cultural committee. We take this pleasure to present this certificate of appreciation to Ms. Sunita Basin for giving her expert guidance to members of Indian Medical Association through handmade. soap making workshop organized by ama headquarter cultural committee on 12th of september 2021 under beyond medicine series and madam we are going to trouble you once again and we are going to seek your help once again in conducting many many more workshops in the future so with this i uh, invite dr madan to please uh, put forward a formal vote of thanks dr madan you are the co-host you can unmute yourself good afternoon everyone uh, it was an amazing wonderful session which was very useful and which is which is far beyond from our uh, medicine practice we all enjoyed it sunita ma'am it was she were amazing and your your enthusiasm is very infectious we all wanted to make soap after seeing this so thank you so much ma'am for accepting our invitation and uh, enthusiastically telling each and every detail about soap making very clearly for uh, anyone for we doctors need to understand it every clearly so everything very clearly so you you have explained it clearly thank you so much ma'am for your time and and i uh, and uh, we all the doctor fraternity is very thankful for your gesture of not accepting any money for this workshop and and giving it us, giving us the honor of hearing your uh, workshop we will be more 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 than happy to have you again in the future workshops i thank all the participants who are joined from the various parts of the nation and hope this was a very useful session and i thank the cultural committee for taking the initiative to get the very rare of the rarest possible workshops possible and which uh, which all the doctors would be interested in i thank our uh, national president and uh, national uh, secretary hsd for for uh, giving us the permission to host this kind of workshops we love to have this kind of many workshops from you ma'am thank you so much dr madan thank you very much and if you read my vision so that is my vision whatever i know there is a very good book written i do not know who is the writer but what is the core essence of that book ultimate we have to go empty there on our you know final yes. journey we have to go empty so it is better to share each and everything life is very small but very beautiful so god yes. has given you wisdom so really we are thankful to god that he has given me wisdom so is the reason i am teaching i own nothing but this is only god's blessing so that today i am standing in front of you and sharing my experience so a big thank you to everyone thank you thank you thank you so much lovely lovely madam it was a pleasure having you over here and it will be a pleasure to have you many more times in the future workshops ma'am thank you so much and thank you everybody for joining us on this beautiful sunday morning
and do join us for our next workshop on 25th of September. The details we will be sending by mail. The mails come out from IMA HQ Cultural Committee. So please be on a watch out for mail from IMA HQ Cultural Committee. Okay, and with this, we end our today's session. Thank you once again, everybody, for joining. And thank you, madam, for that wonderful session once again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.